life is a message. It's a message. It's a message. It's a message. Tell somebody your life is a message. First Timothy 4 verse 12. First Timothy 4 verse 12. The Bible says, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example. In Romans 15, if you read verse 1, when you get back home, read verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. He said, we, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmity of the weak and not to please ourselves. Verse 2, here it is. Verse 2 says, let everyone please his neighbor for his good and his edification. You are pleasing your neighbor. Your neighbor want this, you give them. You come in, you are smiling. You come in, you are cheerful. You come in, you are excited. One day your neighbor will say, I'll follow you to church on Sunday. He said, but we are not doing any special. I said, no, 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 I just want to follow you to church. Why? Because your life is a message. You have neighbors you don't greet. And you are backing into scripture. You have people you don't talk to. You are backing into scripture. Your neighbor says, you, what have I done to you? He says, see, me and you. And the Bible says, as the east is far from the west. As the east is far from the west, so me and you, we are far. As light prevails over darkness. So who is the light? Who is the darkness? If your neighbor is darkness and you are light, it means your light is not shining strong enough to overshadow his darkness. If your light is strong, it will swallow up your neighbor's star. Your life! Many of us are making a mockery of Jesus. You hear a Christian talking, you'll be, you'll be shocked. A Christian will dupe another Christian. Christian. Number two, your love is a message. Don't forget, your life is a message. Your love is a message. How you show love. How you show love to people. How you show love. Your love is a message. Am I con communicating today? Am I communicating today? I was reading my Bible about last week and I saw something. I stopped. In John 13, in verse 35, Jesus was speaking and Jesus said, by this, John 13, 35, by this shall all men know you are my disciples if you love one another. Why? By this, by the love, they will know you are Christian. Not by the speaking in tongues. John 15, verse 17. You know what Jesus said? He said, this commandment. Somebody say command. Come on, talk. Say command. This command I give you that you love one another. Love! You know, many of us do not even know who enemies are. When they say enemies, you don't know what enemies are. You believe that that lady that's not greeting your compound is your enemy. No. That person that is backbiting is your enemy. No. When the Bible says love your enemy, those are the kind of people he's talking about. The real enemy is the one who has your life on the line. The real enemy is an individual who has your life on the line. Who is out to see you dead. merely jealous, envious is not an enemy, it's a potential soul that you must win for Jesus